you will be at the forefront of the next internet gold rush that no one is currently talking about. And this will all be possible because of Starlink and a truly global internet. I noticed the YouTube channel TechSpace recently published a video titled Game Over, SpaceX insane new partnership with Google. And after watching the video, I wanted to take it a step further with some additional information on Starlink that I haven't seen anywhere else on YouTube. In this video, I will unveil Elon Musk's Starlink master plan, which started in 2015 and is likely to continue until the year 2030. Don't forget to like, subscribe and watch this video all the way through because we are about to explore almost a decade of Starlink innovation from a radically different perspective. With that said, let's get right into this SpaceX Starlink video. Stage one, Starlink creation, 2015 to 2018. The year is 2015. Elon Musk has some exceedingly ambitious goals for his aerospace company, SpaceX. Rapid launch vehicle reusability, returning to the lunar surface, developing a super heavy lift rocket and making human life multiplanetary. All these projects require enormous funding, so Elon needed to think big and think long term. Satellite internet technology had been around for decades, but never achieved true global coverage. Elon set out to change that with Starlink. He knew SpaceX was incredibly close to landing a Falcon 9 booster on a drone ship. The rapid reusability problem was solved. He also knew that the engineers at SpaceX were more than qualified to design and mass produce a small form factor satellite. A few years later, he had a product, the Starlink satellites, and he had a method of delivery, the Falcon 9 rocket. Now it was time for the execution. Stage two, launching Starlink satellites, 2019 to 2021. May 23rd, 2019, will go down in history as being one of SpaceX's most significant missions, kickstarting a true cloud computing and hyperconnectivity revolution. This was the first Starlink mission, and it was an enormous accomplishment. Since 2019, another 1400 Starlink satellites have been launched and successfully added to the low Earth orbit mega constellation. Assuming every Starlink launch is nominal this year, Starlink will have near global coverage, servicing approximately 500,000 individuals worldwide by the end of 2021. The Falcon 9 orbital class rocket is SpaceX current workhorse for delivering payload to low earth orbit. 70 meters tall, 1.7 million pounds of thrust and the ability to fly to Mars. It really is a magnificent piece of modern aeronautics. However, it's pretty outdated. Elon Musk confirmed on Twitter that Starship will soon service Starlink launches. With the ability to carry in excess of 100 metric tons to Earth's orbit, introducing Starship into the SpaceX fleet will greatly accelerate Starlink development. Elon estimates that by the year 2030, 42,000 Starlink satellites will populate low Earth orbit, providing 4G-like speed to the entire planet, while supplying SpaceX with a stream of 30 to $50 billion in recurring revenue. $100 billion! Oh. Gentlemen, silence! Now that I brought you up to speed, I will share with you the final stage of Elon Musk's Starlink master plan that nobody is currently talking about. Stage three. Starlink unlocking trillions of dollars in untapped human potential, 2022 to 2030. In the year 2000, there were 361 million internet users. Just 20 years later, there are 4.5 billion. Nearly 60% of the Earth's population is online. In just 24 hours, 720,000 hours of content are uploaded to YouTube. Over 100,000 people subscribe to Netflix, $2.3 billion is spent through e-commerce, and 100 billion messages are shared via WhatsApp. The 21st century internet serves as a thriving hub of activity, with billions of people consuming and sharing all of humanity's collective knowledge, 
in this matrix of information and ideas to learn that nearly 40% of Earth's population, 3.12 billion people remain disconnected is truly shocking. Just imagine the profound effect bringing over 3 billion people online within a decade would have on the human species. It's almost impossible to predict every conceivable outcome. However, if we extrapolate out using past data, we can begin to envisage what a future may look like. Prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, 17% of US employees worked from home five or more days per week. This increased to 44% during the pandemic. On average, employees save 8.5 hours a week by not commuting to work, and working remotely can increase productivity up to 77%. If Starlink can bring low latency, reliable internet to some of the world's most technologically isolated population centers, remote working will be made mainstream. The global e-learning market is projected to grow to $370 billion by 2026 from the $226 billion today. If Starlink works as promised, the orbital satellite network will eclipse current average global internet speeds of 34 megabits per second, with a new average of 100 megabits per second. Citizens of these countries and regions, often restricted due to poor internet infrastructure, can finally gain access to the extensive libraries of online material to grow and learn. With a better educated population comes exponential innovation. This is how Starlink will target and unlock trillions of dollars in untapped human potential. You cannot deny the immense positive effect the internet has had on your own life. Do you feel more connected to others with similar interests? Are you better informed on global events and news? Has the internet made your life more complex but efficient at the same time? The top five most valuable companies in 1989 were either banks or big oil. This was when the internet was in its infancy. Just 31 years later, four out of five of the largest companies on the planet by market cap operate exclusively in the technology sector. 1.3 billion people in 107 developing countries will build online enterprises that rival the 2,000 multi-million dollar tech startups of Silicon Valley. And this will all be possible because of Starlink and a truly global internet, providing incredible investment opportunities for the world's economy. Trillions of dollars could flow into the African continent, South America and East Asia. So I would watch these parts of the globe closely over the next one to two decades. This will also benefit first world countries greatly as the global standards of living increase people have more disposable income to spend on goods and services. Facebook could double its user base. Amazon may receive twice as many customers. Apple could sell twice as many iPhones. And Tesla might power the entire planet with renewable solar energy. It's safe to say, if you own or are invested in a tech-centric business, you will be at the forefront of the next internet gold rush that no one is currently talking about. Dude. Uh. What are you doing? Huel. Uh. Hey, quit screwing around. Uh. We are here to do a job.